All right, here we are again. So you see me shave the rabbit hides in another video. Uh, here they are. They're start these these ones right here. I just broke by hand real quick. I'll show you a little bit about that. So once you get your rabbit hide shaved and out of your pickle and everything, you want to neutralize them in a little uh, salt and uh, uh, baking soda. So and then what you'll do is you'll hang them up for for a little bit until they look like this. And you think, well, that looks a little too far, you know, but it's not. This is great. So what you'll do is, let me show you. You'll just pull it like that. See that creamy coming through? This is perfect. Look at that. That's uh, that's what you want to see, just like that. And you could tell now that it's that it's going to look really, really good later that you got leather here. So that's proper tan right there. When you can start seeing everything break and together like this, no, no funny odors, no, no meat left on here or anything, um, no greasy areas. So that's what it's going to look like. You're going to get this little bit of stretch. You're going to get this nice bright white hide. I mean, look at that transformation for what I just did. That that is nice right there. See, so and the. Uh, you got some bigger rabbits here got some others here you know uh some of these got just a little bit wet on the hair still just a little bit damp so what we're going to do is i will uh walk the camera into the next room here so bear with me if you're going to bounce around a little bit and we are going to throw these in the uh fur tumbler so i'm not sure if i've showed that on previous videos or not so oh let me give you a little show here there's some more rabbit hides here hanging up. Those ones right there were the ones in the video uh, that I did yesterday. So let's uh, move on over here. I'm not that great of an editor or anything, so uh, I just move the camera around and just get you guys where I am. So um, I don't have to do all the editing and cutting and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I should maybe watch a YouTube video how somebody else does it, huh? So, okay, here's my tumbler. What I did in here is it has some other rabbit hides. You can see the paddles inside there. Um, I believe I did another video on the mechanics of it. So this is homemade. This is not anything that you can just go out and buy, although there are some you can just go out and buy. So we're gonna finish throwing these hides in there. There we go. And I'm gonna show you a little thing here. In the video here this is pro one deodorizer concentrate this stuff right here even though the hides don't have odor to them this gives them a really pleasant smell so it just makes my customers uh, a lot happier i mean you get you get something it'd be kind of be like uh you get something that you don't expect and it's just that little bit extra kick it kicks it right up you know that maybe the other guys aren't doing and uh makes for a great product i mean especially some of my customers, they say, well, the wife's kind of worried about it. Well, worry not. Uh, Prado's Trade and Post has got you. So I secured it extra with a couple extra screws in here. I don't have the fancy uh, piece that you can turn, spin down and all that. I have another tumbler, which I'll be doing some restoration on in some future videos, but just not quite yet. So... Uh, so we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna let this uh, let this tumbler it'll uh, it'll turn and it'll break these hides up. It'll start to break break these hides all up. It'll make them it'll make them ridiculously soft. And you just leave them in there for an hour or two. It'll help dry the fur. It'll. Clean the uh, clean any debris out of the hairs. It'll groom them um, and everything. On some of the coyotes and raccoons, it'll actually get rid of ticks, knock the ticks out of them, knock the some of the, some of the cockabirds out of them if they're deep in there. It's not going to do it. Um, it just it's just really great for all that. Uh, I get sawdust here. It's, a, it's they call it wood flour, not really sawdust. And you can reuse this a few times now. Let me show you the difference here. Here's some brand new stuff. And here's my used box. 
Oh, well, I guess you can't see the difference because of the way the camera and the light. This old stuff here is pretty dark, where it's soaked up some of the extra tanning oils from from before, and it's uh, got itself darkened up. Whereas some of this new stuff here that I put in, it's a lot brighter. Um, like I said you can't see that very well in this video. Apologize for that. I think it's, I think it's these shop lights that give all the yellow tone to everything. But but yeah, there's oh there's Mr. Bear. I'm Mr. Bear. Me in here checking it out. Bear's a uh, he's a uh, he's a good boy. I got Mr. Benjamin somewhere. Not sure where he is. So. But anyway, that's a little bit about uh, breaking this rabbit hide. I'll do another video later on when I'm pulling them out.